Hey everybody, Cliff here for a uh, quick update. Um, two things. Uh, one kind of uh, scary that I wasn't expecting to talk about. And then a um, quick action that you guys can do right now that doesn't involve any money that will make a legitimate and major difference. First, just uh, kind of a, a shocking situation. I left work today and right outside blocking the street were three homeland security trucks kind of freaked me out to be honest they um uh, i didn't see them loading anyone in um and they were pretty much leaving i was wanting to get some video but i'm gonna be honest i was kind of intimidated and it didn't seem like the right moment to risk confrontation especially because i didn't see anything really happening but i was just thinking like who are they taking what family are they ripping apart right now? What life are they ruining right now? And it wasn't until later on my way home that I realized, you know, there's a slight chance that maybe they were doing something good, stopping a terrorist attack or something. Like, that's how far we've gone is the assumption, and let's be honest, probably the correct assumption, is that they were there to rip someone's life apart. They were there to deport someone. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe maybe they were doing something legitimately important, but that's not my bet. We've reached a tipping point, and we need to form an underground railroad. It's happening already. Sanctuary cities and the like. I don't know what that's going to take, and it's going to mean some of us are going to have to risk things. But um, for those of us who... When we see trucks like that, our, our fear isn't necessarily for our own personal safety. Um, we need to get involved as well because there are plenty of people that would see those trucks and think that they were there for them. And that was not a concern I personally felt. So that might mean I'm not doing enough. We'll, we'll unravel this in future podcast episodes of uh, Justice Democrats. But... Here's what I was planning to talk to you guys about. So I'm looking at Ballotpedia right now, and there's this guy whose name is Greg Kava, and that's spelled C-A-V-A. As all politicians do, he has his own website and the like. Let, let me tell you a little bit about him first. He's in Connecticut. I am not. He's not someone I know a whole lot about, and so there may be people listening who knows a great deal more about him, uh, by all means, please chime in onto this discussion. So uh, don't, you know, consider this an official endorsement. I don't know where he stands on Justice Democrats' issues. I do plan on reaching out to him, but um, for reasons that will become clear soon, our time is limited. But just going over some of his stances here uh, for growing the economy, creating jobs, job incubators, uh Fiber optic infrastructure, leveraging learning, high-tech manufacturing, fabrication skills, marriage equality, women's rights. It's not just a civil rights issue, but an economic issue. Endorsed by Planned Parenthood, Greg is pro-choice, supports equal pay for equal work, etc., etc. Okay, so I don't know a whole lot about him. So do your homework, but um, I found nothing in there that was shocking. Mr. Kava's opponent, however, is against getting money out of politics. So we have here a uh, one politician who um, is against the fundamental thing that will bring about change. And Mr. Kava seems to be decent, if not great. We'll, we'll see. I'll be, I'm just learning about it myself. I'll be doing my homework, but um, again, nothing in there sound, sounded shockingly horrible to me. But it's not just about this one issue of campaign finance reform, Wolfpack, getting money out of politics, etc. In Connecticut, it is a purple state right now. It's literally 50-50, and he's in a largely red area. If Kava loses, it's going red. But if he wins, it's going blue. This is a moment here where we can actually win this battle and again it's a he's in a uh, red district it's an uphill battle but 
think about this. If we can organize, this election is right around the freaking corner. I believe it's on the 28th. Yes, February 28th election. So time is limited here. But if we can get Greg Kava elected, we can have our first win as Justice Democrats. We can have someone in the Connecticut House who now owes a favor to the Justice Democrats. And when he asks us what we want in return, we say campaign finance reform. For us, it's bigger than that. Psychologically, once we start getting these wins, each win is going to empower us even more. Each win is just its going to make our blood boil even hotter and we're going to fight even stronger. You know, the more battles we win, the more likely we are to win the war. So I want you guys to do one one thing here. So first, if you're in Connecticut, you guys are going to have to go door to door. The way to do that is to email allison at wolfpack.com, A-L-I-S-O-N at wolf-pack.com. Say, hey, I'm in Connecticut and let people know about this guy. Look him up, learn everything you can about him, do your homework, but do it quickly and tell people about him. Most of us aren't in Connecticut, for better or worse, I've never been there, but you can also help. And I know you're sick of hearing people ask for money and I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I mean, feel free to donate to his campaign if you feel like it, uh, $27 is a good number. But again, email Allison at wolfback.com, A-L-I-S-O-N at wolf-pack.com. You have to have that dash in there. I think it's a, a sports team. If you don't, I don't play sports balls, so I'm not really sure, but I think I ran across that somewhere. But email Allison, and you're going to have to make phone calls. And I know phone calls aren't for everyone, but neither is a fascist dictatorship, so we're going to have to get over it. You me, I'm, it's, it's not something I enjoy, but I also do not enjoy deportations. I do not enjoy eight-year-old girls being bombed priorities people so Allison will help you hook you up with phone numbers there'll be some training involved and together we can get Kava elected and by doing that we can put a win on the map here we can say hey the Justice Democrats kept that state from going red we made that blue and that's not establishment Democrat blue that's Justice Democrats blue it's us just us just as Democrats.